what's up y'all my name is LJ and welcome to LJ TV no I'm not American I'm just gonna give it that I just like doing American accents so live with it motherfuckers hey what's up you guys okay so I'm having a home day today so I decided to because I, I woke up this morning and I thought I don't want my videos to become repetitive if, if any of you who are watching me who have not seen me before let's put this down a bit. if any of you watching me who have not seen me before um, then I just generally, if you don't know, I just I do I do skits. Uh, I pick a subject of the day, then I do a skit to sort of add to what I mean and try and make it funny. In my opinion, most of the times they're not funny, but people watch them, so fuck it. I'll just say they're funny. So I decided, why not? Because I've been a bit ill. I, I know I don't sound ill. In fact, I'm quite hyper right now because I've been taking this stuff, this nasal spray stuff that you sniff up and it makes you look if you're walking down the street it makes you look like a bit of a drug addict you know like oh beginnings of a drug addiction motherfucker so I just wanted to uh, thought maybe I thought maybe I should try a review of some maybe I should start doing reviews as well as skits like uh, reviews of movies or reviews of uh, some music stuff like uh, Denzel TV but I'm gonna try and make it a bit better slightly more diverse I mean I know that Denzel's TV uh, the channel is actually called the most diverse channel on YouTube and technically I probably think it is actually but hell this is the second most diverse no no I'll, I, I, I go for the fifth actually forget that so uh, don't ask me what the other two are I don't know but say this is the fifth diverse I know I'm rambling on because of this stuff it makes me very hyper which I think I might keep buying this stuff again beginnings of the drug addiction motherfucker so I wanted to maybe try the most the much anticipated film Pirates of the Caribbean 4 on Stranger Tides. Now, if you haven't seen this movie, stop watching. No, I'm kidding. Keep watching. But I'm going to kind of give away the ending. It's not, I would say, it's not a very climactic ending. I may have just spoiled it for you right there and then, but just keep watching anyway. I'm going to try and make sense of this. It's not um, what you would call uh, amazing but it's not what you would call terrible. Now, if you live in Scotland and you read the Scotsman newspaper, it was fucking crucified. One star, abandoned shit was the headline, crucified. I don't quite know why that is. I think one star was a bit harsh. Whoever wrote them, I might just go and strangle. Pirates of the Caribbean 4 on Stranger Tides. Not a bad movie. I would say the trailer was very misleading. It was a pretty misleading trailer. Bad guy, as we all know, is Blackbeard. Uh, played by Ian McShane, who did a pretty good job. I think it was it was pretty fierce, pretty fierce pirate. Johnny Depp, as we all know, plays the. Uh, oh, oops, I just threw the nasal spray at my laptop screen. No damage, it's good. So yeah, Jack Sparrow, Johnny Depp, who, by the way, if you if you don't know me and I might not have said this before in any of my videos, Johnny Depp is my hero. Somebody, my dream is to act alongside him. Because uh, I want to be an actor, my dream is to act alongside Johnny Depp because I think he's just brilliant. So we've got Johnny Depp, Mr. Gibbs is back. We don't have Elizabeth and Will, which, to be quite honest, I think is fine. I think they probably could only have done one, two, and three. I don't think they had a fourth in them. I think obviously Jack did because if they didn't have Jack, then it wouldn't be the movie. That's the thing about Jack; he's indispensable. If you do it, if you obviously you'll know this. If you if you do a movie without the guy who's made it the most success of it for the past however many years and you do a sequel and it's not he's not in it or it's another actor playing him it's not as good because Johnny Depp as we know is the king of of diversity so we've got him uh, we have this new guy uh, this God-fearing guy whose name actually escapes me at the moment uh, one thing that I thought was a bit too far with this movie was the mermaids thing this is sign line was for mermaids just go with it so yeah that I didn't quite I mean I think it's okay because they've had quite a lot of supernatural things going on in parts of the Caribbean obviously with the curse the flying Dutchman the Davy Jones tentacle stuff the Calypso goddess thing now if you've not seen Pirates of the Caribbean stop watching this video because a if you haven't then I will just fall on the ground and die you should have. Everybody's seen Pirates of the Caribbean. If you've not seen it, go and watch 1, 2, and 3, and go and see 4. They're all worth watching, trust me. Second... Mm, guys, ugh, I don't know. That's what, that's what I say when I'm... 
not sure of things. So, the story is you've got uh, Jack Sparrow uh, hunt, uh, hunting for the Fountain of Youth, and you've and it's kind of a race against time because you want um, Jack going after it, and so is Blackbeard, and so Penelope Cruz is in it as well, and she's pretty good in it. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but uh, Penelope Cruz gets the Fountain of Youth in the end. And Blackbeard dies. And Johnny Depp escapes, as always. That's pretty much it. Barbosa, who I like, is back. Jeffrey Rush, great actor. Australian, I think, or New Zealand, I can't remember. Leave a comment saying the right country, I, I forgot. He has a wooden leg. So he's kind of like Long John Silver from Treasure Island, which, if, which is, if you've not seen, go watch that too. Which I, when I saw it in the trailer, I was like, oh, it's turning into this classic pirate stuff because you had an eye patch in that world's end with Rigetti, the guy with the eye, which I thought was fine because he wasn't, it was a bit weird him wandering around with only one eye. But then you've got the wooden leg and you think, ah, oh, crap, uh, pi too, too, pi too piratey for me because the whole like, point of Pirates of the Caribbean is sort of strength, st strays away from the normal pirate stuff. Um, you know, like, uh, uh, swords that aren't like proper swords, they like sort of go up like that, and you know, stripy tops with a well, technically, uh, Jeffrey Rush does do the I think it's probably the more the most piratey of all of them. Jack Sparrow is the least piratey, as we all know. I'm just telling you what you already know, but still, I've got nothing else to go on, so just go with it. The Black Pearl uh, is is sunk by I think it was Blackbeard, I think it was Blackbeard. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, because. Barbosa kills him in the end, so it was revenge. So he sinks the pearl, and in the end, uh, Barbosa goes. Uh, you know, Barbosa he um, he steals Blackbeard's ship, and in Blackbeard's ship, he keeps below on below deck. He keeps bottles because he he's famous for rising for raising uh, ships and people from the dead, uh, and he has this sword which controls his ship. And he, in Blow Deck, he has bottles. He keeps bottles of sunken ships that he wants to keep in bottles below deck. I've just basically repeated my sentence backwards. So, Jack Sparrow, because Gibbs gets his hands on that in the end, and then Jack Sparrow get. Okay, so everything's happy pretty much in the end. So, I'm going to give you my overall verdict on this movie. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, given that I'd read the reviews before I went to see the movie, but because I like Johnny Depp, I'd go and see anything with him in it, regardless of whether it's shit or not, because that's how much I love him. I live him. I love him. I thought it was better than I thought it would be. It kind of went down the so supernatural road a bit too much with the mermaids and all that stuff. Um, the acting, as far as any parts of the Caribbean film goes, really, really good. It was a different director this time, which could have been obviously different ideas, different people, so different people, different ideas, so you've got that. Rob Marshall, I think his name is. If you didn't enjoy the trailer, I would pr I would suggest going to see it anyway because some of the stuff is a bit different to what's in the actual trailer. The trailer is actually quite misleading, which kind of annoyed me, sort of. Uh, Penelope Cruz is good in the movie. I would I'd say it's an all-round not amazing film. I wouldn't say it's rubbish because it's not. I wouldn't say it's amazing because it's just beyond that, but I would say go and see the movie. So. I recommend going to see it, uh, and the acting's great, everything's pretty good. The story could do with a little more work because it's it's a bit too much of the supernatural route to, to the point where it, it becomes a bit annoying because you've got, you know, the whole tear of the mermaid and the two cups and the and the whole fountain of eternal life to blah, 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 and it gets a bit annoying. But other than that, I would recommend going to see it. I hope you enjoyed this review. I will be doing skits sooner or later. Hopefully, so, um, what do you mean hopefully? Definitely, I'll be doing skits, definitely. With my new camera, if, you, if you've seen my videos before, and the video camera quality wasn't as good, and it is now, it's because I've got a new flip camera, Flip Mini HD. Here's another thing I'd recommend, really good camera, go and buy it if you've got the money, and you're doing, uh, it's only about 80 quid for one hour HD. If you're doing videos like I am, or if you want to film anything that's really simple to use, really easy, and fits in your pocket, I would say Flip Mini HD. So I'm kind of drifting off topic here, but I would say go and buy Flip Mini HD and go and see Pirates of the Caribbean 4. Okay, I'll see you there. Guys, peace out, you too.